Bay Angela Petrilli here with a new episode of the Riff Rundown with the awesome folks at Fishman. Today's lesson is pre recorded, but don't worry, we're still gonna have a lot of fun, still gonna be interactive, it's going to be great. Today we are going to be learning Neil Young Crazy Horse Tune, Hey Hey, My My. An awesome song to play, great chords, great riff, and a really, really cool tuning that we have yet to talk about on the Riff Rundown. So we'll be going over all of that today. So folks, you know the drill. Let me know where you are tuning in from and your favorite Neil Young song. So let's go ahead and get started. So that is the tune that we are going to be learning today. So definitely geared towards my beginners, intermediates, but my advanced students who are watching today, don't worry, I'm sure you can learn a thing or two with this song too. So again, those of you tuning in, I am pre-recorded today, but if you guys have questions and all of that stuff, type them in the comments. I think they're on this side or this side. Type them in, and once I am back in town, I'll be happy to answer your questions questions. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's first talk about the tuning. So the tuning, we're usually in standard tuning, right? For a lot of songs. But with this one, what we're going to do here is we're going to tune everything down a whole step. So get your guitars tuned to this tuning. Your E string down to D. Your A string down to G. D string down to C. G string down to F. B string down to A and your high E string down to D. So your tuning should be D, G, C, F, A, D, okay? So folks, do me this quick favor. If there are people who are coming in late and they're asking about the tuning, be sure to type it in the comments so that they can go ahead and play with us. That'd be, that'd be great, I appreciate that. So thank you all so much. So let's go ahead and get started here. What are the chords that we are dealing with in the intro? We've got an A minor. We have a G that is played this way. And we have this F major seven. So I'm also going to preface this before the lesson. I am going to call all of the string names, all of the chord names, as if we are going to be in standard, just to keep things really crystal clear here. But know that we are tuned down a whole step on the guitar, okay? And could you play this in standard tuning? Absolutely, you totally could. Just if you wanted to play along to the song, might sound a little weird, so. So you can totally play this in standard tuning too. Um, so this version I got from the, the Rust Never Sleeps. I was also listening a bunch to the, uh, the, the live Farm Aid 85 concert. So, so that's where I am basing this, this lesson off of, off of those two. Neil's just, Neil's the coolest. Neil's the coolest. So we've got A minor. So my beginners watching, we're gonna run through it real quickly here. First finger, place that on the first fret of the B string that is going to be your C note. 
you are going to get your second finger placing that on the second fret of that G, nope, D string, that is go second fret D string, and then your third finger is going second fret of that G string, okay? So it's gonna sound like that, strum the bottom five strings, do not include the E string with this. So just like that, okay? Now, our form of that G chord, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and get your second finger placing that on the second fret of that A string, that would be your B note, your third finger placing that on the third fret of the E string, that would be G, and then your pinky finger you're gonna place on the third fret of the E string. You're gonna strum everything. Okay, then you're gonna have an F major seven. How we play it is like this, first finger placing that on the first fret of that B string that is going to be C, second finger, second fret G string, that is A, third finger, third fret of the D string, that is going to be F. You are also going to strum the high E string here. That is what makes this chord a major seventh, okay? So just like that. From the D string downwards, you're gonna strum. So, those chords, and F major seven, okay? So now let's go ahead and talk about this intro and the riffs that are within it. So, we have a chord, and then a riff, and then we have a chord, and then we have a riff, okay? So it's really, really fun to play. So, first off, open A string to an A minor. Nice downward stroke, okay? That's all we're gonna do. Now, the second, or the, I guess the first riff in this song, and then we go to that G chord. Okay, it's gonna look like this. Okay, so when Neil plays this again, he's got a very percussive, he's, he's like strum picking the chords, right? So it looks like this. It's not a not that because we want to hear right that sustain of those chords so this is something to work up to and practice for my beginners and intermediates do not be frightened by this this is something you can absolutely do what I would suggest for my beginners just pluck the notes and then get the chord okay and the better you get at that then start incorporating the, the, the wider the wider stroke there so let's go ahead and let's do this again. All right, so A. Now, open A string, second fret A string, third fret A string, okay? So if we're in standard tuning, A, B, C, okay? So let's go ahead. Just like that again. Now right there, incorporate the open D string. Let's go ahead and add that now. And then G chord. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again just by plucking the notes and I'll go ahead and do the more advanced by strum, strum picking, the, whatever we're gonna call that. <laughs> Here we go. One more time like this and we'll do the more advanced way. All right, now we're gonna do more advanced, right? The strum picking technique, here we go. Now, I grab the other G. This is the one we wanna play. More nil sounding, more folk, more folky sounding. That's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and do that again. Pluck those notes, it's a little wider, like a strum. Now a little faster. All right, so 
So that is riff for number one. Let's go ahead and look into riff two. This is gonna be in between your G chord and that F major seven, okay? It's gonna sound like this. Okay, here's how we do that. Get that second finger, place that on this A string, okay? But first, we're gonna play that A string open. Then place it down, second fret A string then release. So it's like a hammer on pull off, just like that. Grab that G note, third fret of that E string with your third finger. And then back to that open A string. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again nice and slowly here. Okay, and then to that F major seven. So again, I am playing this at the more of the level one, just plucking the notes but we're gonna go ahead and ring true to how, how Neil does it again, where he's kind of strumming and picking those notes, okay? So let's go ahead, let's do that second riff again. Okay, let's go ahead now and give it some context. We're gonna add that F major seven at the end. Lightly brush stroke, okay? Like a harp, very, very light. Let the pick do the work. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this again. F major seven. Let's do that one more time. Now I'm gonna do it more of that Neil style, right? With the broader strokes. Here we go. So that one more time. Now. For my beginners, if you wanna to stick to that F major seven and leave it there, it's going to sound fantastic. But if you wanna do it a little bit more in the style of Neil, right? Give the chords a little bit more movement. What you can do is this, go ahead and lift up that second finger. Play this chord, okay? So it's like cool suspension. So you lift it and then put it right back to then bring it back to that F major seven, okay? So now let's go ahead and add that in on top of the chords and those riffs, okay? So here we go. Lifting that middle finger, let's do that one more time. Let's do it a little faster, level two. time. Okay, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Really, really, really cool. So let's go ahead and do the next part, which sounds like this. Slightly different. I'll do that one more time. do that right for life. <laughs> there we go. That's how we want to do it. Again, we're live folks. I do this in one take and it is, it is such a blast, but I'm human too. So let's go ahead and look at what's happening here. We have the same, so the first half is exactly the same as the first part of that intro we did. It's the second riff that is different. It sounds like this. Similar, a little different, okay? So what we're gonna do here, get that first finger ready. We're gonna play the D string open. Then what you're gonna do is hammer on with that first finger on the second fret of the D string. That would be E, okay? Grab that C note, if we're in standard shooting, right? Grab it with your second finger, third fret A string. So it would sound like this. Open D string, 
then open A string, then to your F major 7, okay? So here's what we're going to do. Just like that. We'll do it a little slower. Let's do it without the palm mute. Okay, so now that's our level one, right? Because we're just plucking the notes. Let's go ahead and do a level two with a broader strumming. And again, giving it context, gonna play the whole thing. So here we go. And with that suspension, let's do that again. Even broader strokes, here we go. time. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to combine that intro, part one and part two. I'm going to do it slower and then I'm going to do it fast. Then we're going to get on to the verses and folks, we are pretty much there. It's a fun one. Here we go. Part two. Let's do a little faster, level two. with the verses, right? The verses come in, so it's like our intro. You're just gonna play the chords. So the So that's all you're gonna do there, okay? And you're just strumming A minor G and that F major seven. I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. Switch the lyrics up. Obviously slowing it down, but if we sped it up. Okay, so just to give you context, that's what's happening there. Now, the next part of the chords, oh, which I love, I love slash chords with a cool bass note in it. He's doing it here, so he's doing it with a C over G. It's gonna look like this. Such a great chord. Oh, such a great chord. So here's the whole progression at the second half of that verse. chords that are similar, right? We've seen the A minor, the G, and the, the, the F major 7. We've seen it. So they're just two new chords that we're going to talk about. Three if we want to level up. So let's go ahead and look at the C over G. I love this chord. I really, really love this chord. I love a good C chord. But this C over G just brings it to a new level. That added, right? That added fifth on there is just so great. So here's how we do this. Go ahead and just play a regular C chord, okay? How we would regularly do it. What I want you to do now is bring that third finger up to the third fret of that E string. There is your G, okay? Your pinky finger is gonna take the place of where your third finger used to be, third fret of that A string. You are now going to strum everything. Oh, it's like angels, right? Isn't that cool? Love that chord. So that's where he goes. 
Now, this is gonna feel like a lot in the hands, but again, work with it. It is so, so worth the effort. You'll find that a lot of times you will substitute this for a C chord. It's just really, really great, so. Then he goes to an E minor, but then he adds one of these. He puts his pinky finger sometimes, right? on that third fret of the E string, the high E. So that's your, that's your G there too. So you're getting it somewhere else really nice. You're playing it low here in that C over G. And then you're playing it high in this E minor, okay? If you simply wanted to play an E minor here, totally cool, it will sound great. But again, if you wanna add like just a little bit, can be kind of a cool thing to do, okay? So let's go ahead and go between those two chords, the C over G to the E minor, and that added G note on the bottom of that E minor, or the top of that E minor. So let's go ahead. It's just like, just barely there. It's like, just like a little finishing salt, right? Just there for a minute, you know what's there, and you're like, ooh, that sounds really good. A little bit of salt. Think of it like that. I like my analogies. There you go. That's what we're doing. So C over G. Play the E minor for a second, and then throw in that that G on the bottom here, or bottom of the fretboard. If we're talking musical staff, it's up higher. Okay. So let's do that again. And again, let the pick do the work for you with these strums. Notice how I'm not really, really digging into these strings. Let the, let the pick do the work for you. So here we go, Anne. From here we go to our A minor, to our F major seven. If you wanna do that suspension again, do it. It's gonna sound great. Just lift up that middle finger, then bring it on back to create that F major seven. So let's go ahead, put all those four pieces together. It'll sound something like this. See what I mean? That suspension adds a lot, it's really cool. Let's do that again a little faster this time. What I also noticed too is sometimes what he did, and this was, I, I'm referring to the live version uh, from Farm Aid 85. You can go ahead and watch the YouTube video uh, and, and see, and you can really hear it, is sometimes he does not play an F major seven. He does not play it with the, the sus two there, that, that open G. He will play it as a full on bar chord. So it is a true F chord, okay? So keep that in mind too, what I'll do. So it's, an, it's a third option of what you can do here. So I'll go ahead and include the bar chord in this one. So here we go. See what I mean? Really, really cool. Again, we're talking layers, we're talking melody. Whatever you're feeling, use all three. Neil does, I think it sounds great. So let's go ahead and I will give you, I, I will play that entire second half of that, of that verse. You know what, I'm gonna play the whole verse. Here we go, from the top of the verse. Here comes our C over G section. So after this, what do we do? A minor. Hey, hey, that one, my, my. And then we do that. And then we get into, again, our intro riff, okay? So let's go ahead and do the verse one more time here. Repeat that. G section.
Then we will go into our intro. Part two of the intro. Pretty cool stuff, right? Pretty cool stuff. Not too bad. So what happens after this? So we did that intro riff. A second verse is there, okay? A minor, G, F major, seven. Do that two times, then into our C over G, our E minor, A minor, F major, seven. Then we go to A minor, to G, to F major seven, okay? After that, we go into a harmonica solo, okay? Into a verse three, into another harmonica solo, and then verse four out, all right? So that's, that's the whole tune. I, again, I just really wanna thank all of you. These are so much fun. I have such a blast with these. Wanna thank the folks at Fishman, uh, it's, it's just such a blast working with them with these, and it is, it's just really, really been a lot of fun. So, so thank, thank you, everybody who's involved in these. You too is watching. Thank you. Thank you. So what we've got here, um, I do want to talk about the gear for a hot minute here using the Fishman Aura Spectrum Acoustic DI. I love it. Uh, a lot of folks ask me, what is the one piece of gear you cannot live without? Uh, it's, it's that. It's the Aura Spectrum DI uh, by Fishman. I do not leave my house without it. Uh, at an acoustic gig. And again, as far as amplification is concerned, I know you guys asked about that, using the Fishman Loudbox Performer being mic'd up with an SM57 out to all of you. So again, thank you to the, thank you to the folks at Fishman. This is so much fun. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna run through this one more time, and I'm gonna remind you guys, if you guys are enjoying these lessons, be sure to click that subscribe button. There's one, I'm a mirror image, where is it? it should be like around over here somewhere. Click the subscribe button, tell a friend, it helps the cause. So be sure to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and run through this again and we're gonna call this a day, folks. Again, if you wanna find out more about me, AngelaPatrilliMusic.com and be sure to subscribe. Here we go. fun with this one. This one is such a blast to play, such a blast to teach. Again, wishing you much, much success with this tune. It's a fun one. It's a good one to know. It's a good one to know. Great sing along. Really, really fun. Really, really fun to play. Sounds really great. Sounds really great. So again, I want to thank all of you. Thank you all so much for your support over these last few months of doing these lessons. It has been such a blast and I read the comments. I'm really, really glad you guys are enjoying these too. I want to thank the folks at Fishman uh, for helping me run these week after week. It is, it is so great to have them on board with this. And again, I will be back live next week with a fun song. Be sure to subscribe so you can find out hints on what the song will be. Again, Angela Petrilli here. Thank you all so much and 